Hello everyone. Good morning. First of all, warm welcome to OIC training by Unodics. In this video, we'll see how to retweet a message in Twitter from OIC. In, in previous two videos, we have seen how to configure a Twitter, a Twitter connection in OIC. And we have also seen how to tweet a message. In this video, we'll see how to retweet a message in Twitter. Okay. So uh, in case you didn't watch the previous video, please go ahead and watch that video. So the result of that uh, API that we have built in the previous video is this. So the API accepts a tweet message or message as an input, and it tweets that message, and uh, it, it gives you back a tweet ID in response. And if you log into the Twitter account, you should be able to see the message that is tweeted. So if you look at this message, the, the message that we have passed in, uh, but for tweet or, or that we have passed in as input to the REST API is this. And the exact same message is uh, tweeted. And uh, there will be an ID generated for every tweet uh, that gets posted to the uh, to the Twitter account. And that ID will send back in response. In this video, we'll build a REST API to retweet a message. And to tweet a message, yes, you can accept a message and, and tweet it. That's absolutely fine. But to retweet a message, you will have to pass in tweet ID as an input. Okay, so uh, here we have uh, we have an ID generated for this tweet that we have posted. So we're going to make use of this ID to test the retweet API that uh, that we are going to build in this video. So let's just copy this and paste it to the text pad. Now let's go ahead and build the API. And what should the API do? API should take in tweet ID as input and it should retweet a message in Twitter and it should give us a confirmation back. Okay, so let's go back, go to connections tab. And what connections do we need for this, uh, for, to build this API? We need a trigger connection. We have created a, tri a trigger connection already in the previous video and we also need it. Twitter connection. So we already have uh, both the connections configured. So in case you want to try out this API, and if you haven't watched the previous two videos, please do so, uh, because in, in those videos, I've explained how to create these connections. So we'll just go ahead and use this connection to trigger the REST API that we're going to build and use this to retweet the message, this connection to retweet, retweet the message. So go to integrations, create a new API, use app-driven orchestration style, and we'll call this as you know geeks retweet message rest API. To avoid complications, I will take out I'll take out the hyphen. It should be fine, but I just yeah. I'll just take it off. Yeah, you know geeks retweet message rest API. And let's put it in. A Twitter package created. <clears throat> Change the layout to horizontal. Configure the trigger connection. Use a Twitter trigger connection. This is uh, just a plain trigger connection created without any inputs. And I will call this endpoint as receive tweet ID to retweet. Okay, so we need to receive a, a tweet ID, which needs to be retweeted. Receive tweet ID and retweet the message. And let's receive the tweet ID, tweet ID as an input. Get method is fine. Configure the endpoint to receive the response because we want to send back uh, the tweet ID, which was successfully retweeted, along with a message that was that was uh, retweeted. So click on next. Uh, template parameter is configured because we have used a tweet ID in a curly braces in the URI. That's fine. And in the response payload, change it to JSON sample. Enter sample JSON again. And you can copy the sample JSON given in the PPT. 
it just has two attributes id string and a text which i want to send back as response to the client click on that and we want to invoke uh, the twitter connection to retweet the message use you know geeks twitter connection retweet a message click on next and you can select a retweet operation click on next and it expects just one template parameter so just add it in click on done so in the mapper we are receiving id here from the client a tweet id we will pass in the same as input here to the retweet message operation edit the mapper map the tweet id validate the mappings and close it and we want to send the confirmation response back and in the response we want to send back the id as well as the text which is uh, retweeted just as a confirmation that uh, yes the exact the right tweet has been retweeted so the retweet request that you send in it will get you back a response and if you look at the response you will have a few details like you have the id yes let's pass id back it's basically the same id that that is passed as input and you will also have a text which is nothing but a tweet message so let's pass let's also pass that message back to the client so it just acts as a confirmation that yes uh, a right tweet has been retweeted validate close and let's enable tracking and since we are receiving only tweet id as input you can only use that as a tracking identifier save it save the api and let's go ahead and test the test the api and to test the api we're going to use this tweet id this is id of the tweet that we posted in a previous video wherein we have seen how to tweet a message from uh, from oic so let's copy the same the id activate the api Test the API now. Pass in tweet ID as input and test the API. So you could see that yes, the message has been tweeted, and you also see the text message, and and in the text you have the message that has been retweeted, and it says RT Edit you know kicks because this was a message that is retweeted. And to see the result, you can go back into OIC. And you see that uh, there has been a, a retweet of this message. So if you go to home page, you might probably see uh, a, a retweeted of the message. Okay, so if you go to profile, you could see that you could also see the symbol which mentions how many times this message has been retweeted. So this message was tweeted first, and then uh, we retweeted the same message, and that's the, and that is showing up here. And it also mentions who has retweeted it. And for this tweet again, you get back a unique ID. So you copy this and paste it here. You see that this ID will be different from the previous one. So this is a ID for the original tweet, and this is ID for the retweet of the original tweet. Original tweet. Okay. So this is how you can retweet a message in OIC. Okay. Sorry, retweet a message from OIC, and in case you're wondering how how would all this be beneficial to clients there there are many clients uh, who use who use the sales cloud and marketing cloud offered by oracle and whenever they launch some promotional campaigns there would be a need to uh, post marketing messages on twitter and uh, there would be a, a need to retweet the messages as well so yeah, uh, sending in a tweet like uh, this is a message from OIC might not make sense, but if it's a proper marketing campaign message, yeah, many clients would be in need of posting in Twitter and they would prefer to do it in an automated way using the Twitter connection. And 
yeah, uh, we have just seen how to how to treat as well as how to retweet a message. And I'll show you one more operation in uh, Twitter, which might uh, which which you might find helpful, uh, which is to get all the Twitter trends of a particular place. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. In case you are interested in Oracle Integration Cloud training offered by Unogeeks, please call us on this number, or you can send a WhatsApp message, or you can also drop an email on info at Thank you.